ప్రయోజనం చెందుతారు From the, the story that we can piece together, she was playing on the dirt floor with a little brother, and there was a gas lantern um, there to light the room. And a wind gust came through, and this lantern fell over. My sister, I didn't care if she land, and I remember getting my hands burned. And this liquid kerosene ran right to these two little ones playing. And she reached in to save army men from not being burned. It burned my skin and I screamed. Mm, my brother just laying there. That's all I remember. And as she was on fire, she got up and ran, feeding those, those flames instead of stop, drop, and roll laid in a village for 16 days without any first aid care and then transferred to a little first aid station and from there was transferred to the capital city of La Paz, Bolivia. Before I bring Graciela out, one last thing uh, I was amiss at saying is that we now exclusively have Forever Living products in our burn clinic and our burn center. And many of you have asked me uh, about testimonials and research and development on our product and its satisfaction with the patients. Right now, we've had over two or 300 patients use the product with great results, and we're in the process of actually working up all that information. I hope by next summer to actually have more than 1,000 patients having used the product, and uh, we will be obviously distributing those from the main office out to all of you. So I'm sorry I forgot that little bit of information, but more importantly, I'd like to introduce to you Graciela Nobles. I was, burned in South, I was burned in South America, in Bolivia, at the age of three. Me and my brother were horribly burned. I was burned on 32% of my body. I was burned on my face, the side of my stomach, my hands, and my legs. I laid in our village for about 16 days without any medical care. My parents could not keep me, so they transferred me to a hospital in La Paz, and that's where I met my adopted mother, Beth Nobles. She was working as a missionary. So she brought me to the United States to get help, and I have had about 17 surgeries to count. I've had surgery on my, reconstructive surgery on my face. I've had a reconstructive surgery on my hands and my legs. At the age of seven, I was going through, I guess, kind of an, I was starting school, so I was getting very nervous. And my mom heard about a very good camp called Burn Camp Courage. So I went and I didn't know what to expect. For a long time I had thought I was like the only person in the world burned. And when I got off, when I got off in my, out of the car and I saw all these kids and all these people, I have to tell you I felt the greatest joy knowing that I wasn't alone. They are such wonderful people and that whole week I had a blast. I'm now 15 years old and I have been going just about every summer. And they have every week crammed packed. Every night is something special. They have a toga night. They have luau. They have horseback riding. They even have a birthday night where they celebrate everybody's birthdays. I want to tell you very much. I want to tell you how much you have helped us all out. Thank you for, from the bottom of my heart. You guys might not know all our names. But we should know who you guys are. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm shaking. <laughs>